It is seven days till Christmas. In um, where we live, there's a Santa mailbox where you can send letters to Santa. And we did that, and guess what, Lucy? What? You got your letter from Santa Claus, it says. Okay. Santa Claus. He wrote you back? Lucy had a little accident Mom, and Mom, turns out she has a concussion, which yeah. is kind of crazy. So we've got to take care of her for the next couple of days, make sure she can't run or hit her head again because that could be serious. We were at my mom's last night and she took a tumble down the stairs. Um, she was hugging her little cousin and they both just like went from like four stairs up like this. Bam! Like, and so Lucy hit the back of her head and then her cousin hit the front of her head so she was like pancaked. We're hoping that she has a speedy recovery. There it is. Let's pull it out. From the desk of Santa Claus it says, Dear Lucy, thank you for writing. I love hearing from kids like you. It's good to hear that you have been a good girl this year. Oh, he says you've been a good girl this year. <laughs> um, I have checked my nice list and you are on it. <gasps> He says, keep up the good work. You have quite a great list. Hatchimals, num nums, and two little Hatchimals. I will talk with the elves and see what we can come up with. Well, I have to go back to work. Plus, Mrs. Claus just pulled out a fresh batch of cookies out here, or out of the oven. Yummy, can't wait to visit. Merry Christmas, love, Santa. Santa sent that, that is the coolest thing. That's the coolest ever. thing. Liz, are you in shock? That he actually wrote you back? Who's on the naughty list? Who's on the naughty list? I think list? Greta's on the naughty list. <laughs> Probably Greta. No. If you didn't see our vlog last week of Greta crying with Santa, I'll link it below because it's hilarious. <laughs> well, we're off to our shoot. The kids are going to go play at my mom's house. We just got to our shoot with the Becky Kimball. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. As she slips down there. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting some shoesies. Kids are in bed. The boys are playing. We got Sam over here. Okay, so Lucy's getting a dollhouse for Christmas, and Brad's like, "That's great! Like, let, that's great how it is." But I just really wanted to kind of put a modern spin on it. So I'm in the process of painting. Um, the little swing, but look at these little things that I found at Hobby Lobby. These little drinks and donuts. And the packages. These cute little succulent plants. I was trying to figure out what to plant it in, and I thought about these beads that I brought, that I bought Lucy forever ago. Oh my gosh, cutest thing ever, just wait for it. Wait for it. It's perfect. I'm just dead over this whole concept. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm just wrapping some Christmas presents. Look at how cute these are. But yeah, today has been a good day. Lucy's face is getting a little better. So, and she's starting to feel a little better, most importantly. So we took her to her little Christmas program this morning and it was so cute to see her performing. She was like <laughs> just standing with all of her little classmates and uh, she's not supposed to be jumping right now with her concussion and so at one point in the program it was like jump while you sing the song and my father-in-law was in the audience and hi come on down here and um, when the teacher was like okay now everybody jump you could hear him in the audience front row say nope It was so cute. I caught myself being kind of teary-eyed over it for some reason. It was just like, it was my first little performance that I've gone to as a parent at Lucy's school. This is her first year of doing preschool and it was just the cutest thing ever. I was like, being a parent is the best. I was doing an Instagram story promoting this like facial spin brush and Lucy came in and started playing with it. and. <laughs> Um, she's like playing with it on my face, has it on, it's like spinning, and then all of a sudden it got caught in my hair, it's like 
and I thought we were gonna have to cut my hair off, but Brad was able to untangle it. Oh my gosh, that was such a nightmare. And don't let your toddler play with it. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Happy Wednesday! What are we doing today, Liz? Um, cookies for our neighbors. We're gonna make cookies for our neighbors? Okay, this is Lucy's first time cracking an egg. Let's see how it goes. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, put it back in here. Okay, we got one. Hey, you did it! Oh! <laughs> is it funny, Greta? What are you saying? <laughs> what did Lucy teach you to say, Greta? Were you saying poo poo? Bubble. Oh no! Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Greta, no! Bubble. Greta! <laughs> Now that the cookies are in the oven, Lucy is helping me paint a top secret project. What do you think those are, Lucy? Um, beads. Yeah, are they beads? Mm-hmm. We'll see what it becomes, huh? We're on our way to our friend Christmas party. Woo Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. No. This is the one I'm going to vote on, I think. Alright, so it is just after midnight, and I'm in my closet. I'm embarking on this uh, little dollhouse venture renovation, and I'm going to be installing the wallpaper tonight. I found this, um, this paper for 50 cents. I ended up finding these really cute little couches at Hobby Lobby that are a lot better than I could sew or make, and they were pretty affordable, so gonna go with those. Happy Thursday! Guess who's here at our house? Hi! Okay, we are playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yes, so just quest like that. This will be on Aspen and Parker's channel, so I will link it below. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm like so, so excited. Funny. They're gonna like come on every trip now. They the can't best. not. Africa. Terry spelled my name wrong, and then he was like, Aspen. Oh. Yeah. Hey. IPads, we just oh, spoke it like. That was so fun to have Aspen and Parker over. I adore them. They're coming to our Zambia expedition in July, and it's going to be super fun. Um, now, Brad and Lucy went out, and Greta's napping, so I'm going to give you a little update on the dollhouse. All right, so here's my workplace. <laughs> and here's the dollhouse underneath my blanket. So last night I put up the little swinging chair. This is the original chair that came with it, but I painted it pink and I went and bought this cute little rope because the string that was on there before was just kind of cheapo. Then I solidified what paper is going to go in each room. I laid the tile in this bathroom with some Mod Podge and put up the wallpaper. This was my first wall that I did and it's a little bit bubbly at the bottom here. so. I might be changing that. I might redo this wall. I just gotta build it up to the top or there's these cute crown moldings at Hobby Lobby that I might buy and put in here. Um, and then look, I got the living room done. Just need to cut out the window. I glued the plant to the ground so that um, the girls won't grab it and like destroy it. They'll still probably figure out a way, but I wanted to show all the little details of the progress. With this cute little like framed artwork. So now I just need to cut the edge here and out the window and figure out what I'm doing in the ceiling. But this took me literally three hours last night to do just those bottom two rooms. So I'm kind of nervous because my time's running short before Christmas and I can only work on it when Lucy's not around. So this has been really tricky, but I'm excited about it. I feel like I'm getting the hang of the wallpaper. Um, I've been putting the Mod Podge on the wall now and then I slapped the paper on it. Where before I was putting the Mod Podge on the paper and then like trying to stick it on and it was all bubbly. So if you're making a dollhouse, that's the way to do it. Stick it on the wall first and then put the paper on.
But anyway, yeah, that's the little update. I'm gonna be working on it more tonight and I will continue to share the updates. I wanted to share one last thing with the dollhouse. The original furniture, here, let's grab it, that came with this dollhouse is just massive. Like, I feel like you can't even really, there's not really that much room to play because there's a sink too. Like everything just kind of takes up the whole room. So I found this little kitchen set at Hobby Lobby and I feel like it's gonna make it so that there's a lot more room to play in here. Um, so she can play with that like it's a fridge and then like use this little table. It has four little chairs and so that way she'll have more room in here to actually play. It's not like just a giant table and a fridge that takes up all the room. So I think that this is a better alternative for this size house, scaling everything a little bit down. But I have to say, my favorite thing still is the little succulents. I just bought a huge thing of like succulents for $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. And then um, I found these beads, so these are beads. And I painted them and then cut off little bits of that that succulent and then I made them into these tiny little succulent pots and this is just gonna be my favorite touch of the whole house it's just so trendy and so cute so the living room is the next room I'm gonna be working on and so each room I've just been like laying down the cardstock and laying it out so that I can see what it's gonna look like and um, I wish I could have found smaller logs to go in the fireplace, but I think these will do. They were just like super cheap, so I'll figure out like which ones all fit in there and stack really nice. But yeah, I'm just dying over these little couches that I found. Look at that setup. Hello. Just editing our end of year videos for the family. What the heck? Uh -uh. To the family. West Virginia. Bunch of crazies. <laughs> Brad and I are watching Christmas Vacation while I continue to remodel in a one Finished all my fingers. Say goodbye to the kitchen. Happy Friday. Today I am meeting with Albion. We're going to be shooting their new swims in January. So it should be fun. What's up, guys? What up? Here's the Albion team. Today's cookie day. Oh, hey guys. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Crumb caucus. Crumb caucus. <laughs> and what else? Pepper. <laughs> I have a wonderful pepper caucus here. Aww. A little Norwegian <laughs> treat. Hello from the closet. We should call this the closet diaries. I'm back at it with this dollhouse renovation. I got this fabric from Hobby Lobby. Look at how cute this is. Just cut out this fuzzy little rug. I'm gonna put it in the living room. Let's see. Okay, that like totally transformed that space. That is so much cuter without that purple rug. <laughs> and then my other Hobby Lobby finds were uh, I found this awesome knob. I'm gonna put that right here. Have Brad screw it into the wall. Okay, this fabric that I found at Hobby Lobby is awesome because it's not like a blunt cut at the end. You like pull the strings and it makes it into like a fringed edge. It's so cute. Got a rug. Let's put it in the kitchen. You're hiding in the closet right now. Yeah. Okay, how cute are you right now and the time you've put towards Lucy's gift? Oh my or gosh. should I just say your gift? <laughs> Whatever. This is for Lucy and Greta. This has taken me like... How many hours have I put into this now? Like over I don't 10? Know. I fall asleep and you're just over still here working. I've been staying up till like 3 every night. <laughs> yeah, that little mirror. Do you still think I'm nuts? A little bit, but it's cute. You like it? It's well, cute. It is super I cute. Had, I, had the I love this. I had the idea to remodel it and Brad was like, no, don't remodel it. No, well, it's now, taken away yeah, the well, imagination. Now I've, well, now but I'm now swallowing my words here. That little package. Oh my gosh. You got mail. This is crazy how intricate this is. Look, like opens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what it's gonna be like. Jasmine's gonna be like chilling in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so I've been debating on which tub to use. 
down in here in this bathroom. So, <laughs> um, these are the size dolls that Lucy plays with. So it would actually fit perfectly in this bathtub. But when I ordered it online, I thought it would be white. It's kind of like off-white vintage. It is vintage, so um, <laughs> that's probably why it looks that way. Um, or I have this bathtub that came with it that I feel like fills the room and makes it feel like less empty because <laughs> look at this, this tiny little tub in here. It's like, Merry Christmas, Lucy. <laughs> I don't know. You guys have to tell me what you think is best because I'm still going to have time before I give this to her on Christmas. So you guys have to comment down below and say if you think I should use the big tub or the little tub for this size doll. Brad's doing the final touches. This is the dollhouse before we get started on it. Here's all the original furniture that came with it. dollhouse surprise. I wasn't able to finish it completely but I did that on purpose because I want to be able to finish it with them. I think it'll be a really fun project for us over the years so continue to follow along the divine dollhouse hashtag on Instagram for updates on the dollhouse. But yeah I'll be sure to capture the girls reactions when we gift them the dollhouse on Christmas morning. But thank you for watching you guys. Have a very Merry Christmas. If you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe below to follow along the adventure. Thank you. Bye.